Okay, Miley, it's your time to shine because there are so many pets still in need of a home. And today we are introducing you to one of them, the sweet girl, Miley. Also joining me is Erin Emery with the Green County Humane Society. Tell us a little bit about Miley. She is so calm. Yes, so she is a year old. We're thinking she's a little lab, a little great peer, um, very chill. <laughs> Um, I've brought a lot of dogs to see you guys and she just laid down in the green room watching the television just completely enraptured like nothing bothers her she would be great with a family she'd be great with a single mm -hmm. um, she's very smart you yeah. know like right now she's just kind of taking it all in yes, yes but like there's so much going on in her eyes unfazed I'm, tell us a little bit about her story what what do you guys know yeah. about her so she was found as a stray in garland texas mm -hmm. so she was transferred up from us we've got about 15 other dogs that mm -hmm. we're looking for homes for that were part of that full transfer and you said about a year old so still maybe has some puppy tendencies that would need but not much not right? much <laughs> i have to say and look at this collar i mean miley you're so stylish She's such can a show, good girl. Show her collar. Yeah, you're a good girl, Miley. <laughs> she is so sweet. Um, any idea if she would be good with other dogs or like cats in a home? Yeah, she's non-reactive. So I think generally there's not a big prey drive there. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be, she's going to get to know your family and basically just, you know. Become part of your in. family. Yeah. yeah. Well, Miley is just one of, as you mentioned, several dogs. Now, you did also, uh, we reported over the weekend on Sunday that there were some puppies that were found in a box in Green Pound yes. County. Here's some photos of them. Any update you have on, on this? Yes. So that was a shock on Saturday when they came in. They're only about two weeks old. Um, within a matter of three hours, we were able to find foster homes for all of them. Oh, wonderful. They're all thriving. Um, about half of them are adopted. So we're... We're just over the moon that so many people stepped up. That was a really scary mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, we haven't found the mother. We haven't found the owner. But doesn't matter. Right. Puppies are good. Right. We're happy. And they'll have homes as well. And you have some fundraising events coming up to support efforts yes. just like that. Yes. Wags and Wheels, June 29th. Okay. Um, that is a bike ride, but we're selling raffle tickets. So $2,500 cash price for that. And then uh, we're having a big rescue party, our open house, August 24th. So that's a ways away, but we're going to have Bouncy Castle. Oh. and food and drink and face painting and very kid oriented so <laughs> and, that's and, August 24th. And animal oriented. And animal yes. oriented. So, uh, well thank you so much Erin for joining us. Thank if you are interested in adopting this sweet dog please reach out to the Green County Humane Society for more information. Thanks Erin. Thank you. <laughs>